What's going yeah. on, Michael? So, Where are we? We went and we dumped the uh, black and gray tank because we were full. And then I went to go turn it on and it won't start again. And here's what I think it is, Tamsin, and I have no idea how to tell if that's really what it is. Mm -hmm. But this little wire right here comes from the ignition and goes into here and it's not getting a signal. So when you crank it, there's nothing being sent here. This is the ignition and it's supposed to trigger the positive from which comes from the battery to this terminal which runs to the starter. This is not sending the correct signal to start the engine. So it's not that the solenoid's bad, it's just a bad wire? Or? I don't know. It's not clicking. I mean, it could be a wire. It could be the solenoid, it could be this. But when I run, when I test this wire, it's not sending a signal when you start it, when you crank it. There's one on the other mm -hmm. side, and it is working. And I don't even know what that one does. We're in Pio Pico. It's possible we'll just be spending the night here tonight, and I hear baby crying, so. Yeah. What a lovely blogging moment. Hi, my name's Michael, and uh, here we are, stuck at the dump station at the RV park. Last night we uh, had to dump our gray tank, so we dumped it, and then I couldn't get the engine started again. So I fiddled with it for a couple hours last night, and then we went to bed. I woke up this morning, all the mechanics that would be on call, uh, I called three of them. One of them's in Georgia, one of them's in, uh, in uh, where was he? Oregon. Oregon. Yeah. So... It's um, Memorial Day weekend. It's so Memorial Day weekend. We're on holiday. So I could get a tow truck to tow us back to our spot, but here's silly me thinking, hey, you know what? I probably can figure this out. It can't be that hard, right? So we're gonna go outside and just take a look at the engine. Alrighty. So yesterday, this is the solenoid that starts it. Battery comes up. This is the auxiliary start battery. It goes into this. As soon as you turn the key, it's supposed to jump these pins, which then sends the power down to the starter, which is this wire. Um, anyway, I don't know what was shorting, but something was shorting, and so what happened was, was I was testing some things out, Tamsin was in turning the key, and this wire, I don't know if you can see that, it started smoking, and the sheath just peeled right off of the wire. You can see there's the wire, and it's been burnt. So that, I think that's a ground wire, and it shoots up into this cluster of housing which then goes up under this oh it goes into this that's what it does yeah there it is there's the melted wire and it shoots up into this cluster which then goes up under the dash so we go up into the doghouse by the way this is called the doghouse it's the um it's sort of this this cabin access to the engine from inside between the driver and passenger seat Do you know where it and is? yes it's called the doghouse so Sometimes mechanics say, yeah, yeah, I'm out in the doghouse. Anyway, that wire comes up. I don't know if I can see and let you see with the camera. That, that housing goes right there. You can kind of see a wire poking out. It runs along the top here. I've pulled the wires out to figure out which where it was, and you can see there's a short. Uh, can you see it? I think so. I can't even see. Let me get the... Let's see. I'm a true photographer here, but we're trying. Let's see, where is it? Yes, it's right there. You can see, you can see right there that hole where it melted through the, the black hole and you can see there's that black wire that melted. I pulled it away from that housing. And it runs up, it does a Y, joins into another black wire right there and then it shoots into a housing that goes way up in under that block. The coil then drops down into the front. I had Pamson go out, wiggled that wire, turns out that wire then comes back up and shoots straight up under the dash. So if we come up into the dash where that guy comes in, it's coming into this cluster of wires right there, that third one over. It's a big black wire that then connects into Peter. that. Peter. So this big black wire right there. Yes, that one right there. Peter, we'll show you after we That's the big black wire, which then comes over. There's a bunch of jumbled mess up here. It's a black wire that then bounces back and forth on a couple of these different places, and then ultimately runs back down this way. At this point, it's not melting those wires, it's just melting the wire under here. So I think it's a ground wire short that was shorting on the solenoid. I think, I think I'm going to be able to replace just that wire from here where it wires off. What I'm going to do is I've got to find the right length of cable to connect that with, get the right gauge of wire, and then I'm going to splice that wire to the old one and then pull the old one out 
and as it pulls the old one out the new one will then thread down through that housing so then I can connect it to the engine. I'm going to need a new solenoid so I'm going to have to test, I'm going to pull that out and test it and make sure the solenoid's good and I've also got to pull the starter out because the starter might have gone bad which we replaced it less than two months ago and uh, I don't know if it was just because I cranked too hard and burned the starter out too which seems silly but it could happen. Anyway, one adventure! Yeah, Helen is six. How old are you? Two. And how old will you be in four days? Three. Yeah, your birthday's coming up. Okay, so I actually called a mechanic and he said maybe it's the starter. So he told me to test my starter out. So this is how you test the starter. This is the starter. There is threads on this side and then there's just a hole. So the way this works is it fits up into the hole. This screw goes into this block. And there's another screw that goes through the block and into here. And then this is the ground because it's hooked to the engine. And then this is where the hot wire comes in from the battery. So there's a solenoid that connects, it's called a solenoid, it connects the power and sends power into this, which then spins this. So if I set this guy here and I clamp on a ground, this is a little jumper battery kit we've got. It that lets was, me turn that's it, been a very fantastic It lets me turn it on and off. So that's really, really handy. So then what I do is I connect this with it off. I connect this to the terminal where the battery's supposed to go. Now I've got to hold this because it's going to spin really good. When I turn it on, this should spin. And it didn't. That's it. Maybe that's what it is, is the starter. That is the bizarrest thing, Tim, and it worked just five seconds ago. To be continued. Okay, so this is the old starter. I've gone and got a new one. What I did before previously, I had this one grounded and I connected my hot wire to this one. And then I flicked the battery on so that it would start this. I just tried it again. This one is totally dead, not working. This is my brand new one. I wanted to show what it's supposed to look like. So if I connect this one to the ground, this is the one that connects to the engine, so that's your ground. And then I take this one, which is your positive, which is the hot wire. You gotta make sure you got a good connection. Right here is this little, this is a little crank, and when this turns on, it pops out, which then turns the engine over. And then as soon as it, as soon as the engine, as soon as you let go of the key, is then gonna pop back in, and then the engine can just run. So I'm gonna flip my little switch, and you can see what it looks like. That's what a starter is supposed to do. Now, by the way, I had to hold this because it spins pretty good. Anyway, that's what an engine is this supposed to do. This is like, what, do. three hours later? <laughs> yeah, three hours to the store and driving and all that kind of stuff. Anyway, so this is what, uh, that's what a real starter is supposed to do. Here we go. This might be very anticlimactic, but it might be the perfect solution. It might be, I don't know. So we've got the starter done. I short out a cable and ended up that cable was just a ground wire, so I just cut it out. I will eventually go back and fix it. I bought another cable. But anyway, moment of truth. Get the key in. Stomp on the gas one time just to prime it. And like listen a kitten. To that. That's it. That means only one night at the dump. Tonight we're going to stay in a real camp spot. Yeah, we get to go to a camp spot and plug in and have internet tonight. Behold, we depart from our nightly abode. The neighbor's music is very appropriate for this climatic moment. You're doing great. That was just a pine cone. Oh, sorry. Do you want me to move that? It's Memorial Day weekend.
Lots of people here having fun. It's funny how the campgrounds spring to life on the holidays. And then everybody leaves. And it's quiet again. It's just funny.